But now we're using what's called synthetic division, which is a nice little shortcut. Okay, so let me explain. Um, okay, I'll stop this and explain where all these crazy numbers are coming from. Okay, so this was my, I had x4 minus 2x cubed. I didn't have x squared, so I call it 0x squared plus 13x minus 6. So what I do is just write a 1 here, negative 2, 0, 13, negative 6. So these are just, I took the numbers but didn't write the x squareds and the x's and all that. Okay? I'm going to divide by x plus 2, which means I have to put a negative 2 there. Okay, so mm -hmm. now first thing I do is just bring this 1 down. Now I want to find what number is going to go here, and what I do is multiply these two guys. So negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Then I add those and get negative 4. Now I do the same thing here. Negative 2 times negative 4. Okay. And then if I add, I would get 8. So now what number is going to go here? 16. Right. I add those. Good. And then I would get a 6. I add those. Now I get a 0. So my last number is my remainder. Okay. And this mm -hmm. number is just the number with no x's. This is the 8x. This goes with the x squared. Square. And that, that goes with the x cubed. So if I took this and divide it by x plus 2, I would get x cubed minus 4x squared plus 8x minus 3. All right. Okay. <laughs> so we'll have to do a little catching up. Maybe we'll just at the end of class, Camila, I'll go through the long division with you. And then... Uh, It'll help make it a little more sense. Okay, let's try one more, and then I'll give you guys a break. You've been working hard. All right. Um, okay, we're going to try this one. Number three. Now, before we start, there's something tricky happening. Remember I told you, like for number one, we put three on the outside, correct? Mm -hmm. For number two, we put negative two. So we're always putting what like the zero is of that. Like x minus three would equal zero when x equals three. X plus two would equal zero when x equals negative two. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the only way synthetic works is if it's not a two or three or a five or something here. Okay, so what would the zero be of 2x minus 5? Do you know what I mean? By five and that? Half. Five over five okay. and a half. Yes, very good. You guys do know what I mean. Yes, it would be five halves. So that's the number I'm going to have to put on the outside now, is five halves. So it might be a little more complicated, right? Okay. Everyone.